This is the start of part two of the Bearhawk build. Out of I don't know how many parts we're going to have, but today we are going to be measuring and drilling the main spar attachment plates and making sure that they fit the main spars. So, pull a little bit of the plastic back. I'm gonna make sure my center points are marked right here on the brackets, which my dad laser cut. Uh, mock them up, use a Sharpie, measure 15 times. We will start drilling the fuselage attachment bolts. Center marks done. Okay, the hole right here is one and a half inches from the center line of the part. That's something that I had my dad also build into the CAD drawings, and that's going to be our reference point. It's an expensive piece of aluminum. Yeah. How much is just that one piece of aluminum? Uh, you know, I don't know. Once you add the word marine or aviation or yeah. any piece, you gotta double the price. It's gonna be like that. They're gonna have Yeah. Of course, you won't mess it up either. That's true. Now, like if they mess it up, then I have to wait another three months to get mm -hmm. the stuff. Retractable sharpies are the best thing on the planet. Which ones? Retractable sharpies. Yeah. And they're fine points. So. All right, now it's time for the rest of the brackets. So just measure them up. They're a little off, but I'm going to mark out where these are, take some final measurements. Um, going to center punch where that hole should be drilled. And I'm gonna mirror it on this side. Yeah. And we're gonna drill our first hole. Scary stuff. Uh, the instructions call for this to have about a half inch or so of uh, remaining material. So I'm gonna measure that out. I don't think it's super critical. I have a couple inches to spare on the overall length. So I'm gonna follow the instructions, measure a half inch from this edge, mark it, center punch it, start drilling. All right, there's my half inch.
Center punch, now time to drill a 1 8 inch hole. the left spar. Nice clean little cut. <laughs> See right in there. Okay, now that I've got the hole drilled, I need to cut these to length, and that is to the splice. Now the splice, this piece goes in with cap strips on top and on the bottom. So next step is to cut these to length. Time to cut the main spars. All right, so here are the plans. From the tip of this to the center splice needs to be 86.19. Uh, this is to the tip of the bracket, whereas the overall measurement is taken from the hole. So, tip of the bracket, 86.19. And we're going to make that cut. I haven't received my Clecos yet, so we're going to use spring clamps to secure the bracket. Can you hold the camera, actually? Just like put it over there. Just make sure you can get that. I'll edit out other stuff too. so that's up against the bracket. And hold it, keep holding it. Okay, I measured 86 inches. Now I'm gonna measure another 0.19. So to try and be a little bit more accurate, I measure it to 86 inches, which is the first little dot. 
and then 0.19 is the second dot. So I'm going to mark that off with my square, and I'll do the same thing on the right wing. Right center point, marked. Left center point, marked. Time to get cutting. All right, so I'm gonna do the, whoop, gonna do the initial cut with the Dremel and then clean it up with some files. Try and uh, file this down. Spars to length 86.19, 86.19. So today we're going to cut the outboard section of the spar down to length. Total length needs to be 172 and three quarters of an inch from this hole right here all the way to the very end. All right, let's get cracking.
No. Do you want? If you want. I want to know if I'm going to be useful or if I'm going to just watch you. bars have been cut to length um, I did make a little mistake that hole was uh, the original wing attach plate location before I realized that these actually were left and right um, there's actually a six degree bow out on this end and this one's 90 degrees so you now it's so close to the tip I will probably just put a rivet in there um, to keep it from causing any problems, but honestly, this is going to have a lot bigger holes in it. Anyway, lightning holes are going to go here and here and, you know, the length of it. So that's the end of part two. Um, wing, um, spar caps have been ordered. They should be here, I don't know, in a couple weeks from Aircraft Spruce. I ordered them for the main spars only. Thanks for watching along. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see this project get built out through its end. And uh, we'll see you in part three. Peace.